Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a mongoose hardtail mountain bike. The tools you will need to assemble the bike include a 4mm, 5mm, and 6mm Allen wrench, a pedal wrench or adjustable wrench, pliers, wire cutters or scissors, Phillips and slotted screwdriver, box cutter or knife, and an air pump. Let's start by opening the box using your screwdriver. Be careful of the staples in the box. It's good to remove those with your pliers and throw away. Remove the whole bike from the box and set it down on top of the box. Cut the zip ties that hold the front wheel on and remove the front wheel and set aside. Then cut any zip ties that are holding the parts together and remove packing material that's wrapped around the parts. Set the bicycle down with the rear wheel inside the box and the fork hanging off the front. Now remove the parts box and set that aside. Open the parts box. Inside the box you'll find parts needed for assembly, reflectors, and the owner's manual. Once you have assembled the bike, but before you ride, please read the owner's manual. To attach the handlebars, with your Allen wrench, unscrew the stem bolts and set aside along with the top cap of your stem. Put the handlebar in the stem, making sure it is centered. Make sure that the brake and shifter cables wrap around the frame in the correct manner. You don't want any kinks or twists. Replace the top cap and thread the bolts back into the stem. Center your handlebars in the stem using the marks on the bar. Next, using your Allen wrench, tighten the bolts evenly in an X pattern, making sure you keep the stem cap even as you tighten the bolts. Lastly, torque the bolts to make sure they are tight. Now it's time to install the seat and seat posts. Note the minimum insertion line on the seat post. Insert the seat post into the seat tube. Always make sure the minimum insertion mark is not visible above the seat clamp. Align the seat so that the nose runs parallel with the frame and tighten the quick release seat clamp. Let's put on the front wheel so get your quick release skewer that came in your parts box. There should be an adjusted nut, two springs, quick release nut, and the quick release lever. Remove the adjusted nut and the spring. Lift up on the bike and set the fork dropouts onto the axle. Insert the quick release skewer into the hub. Tighten the adjusted nut on the outside and check the quick release lever to ensure it's tight enough. If it's too loose, open it back up, tighten up the nut some more, and then push the quick release lever back. To install the pedals, look for an L and R on your pedals to determine which one is for the left and right side. Hand tighten your pedals onto the corresponding crank arms. Screw the pedals in the direction of the front wheel. The right pedal tightens clockwise, the left pedal tightens counterclockwise, which is the opposite of a regular bolt. Then use either a 15mm pedal wrench or your adjustable wrench to finish tightening the pedals. Now it's time to do some pre-ride tests and fine tuning. Go ahead and attach the front and rear reflectors with your Phillips screwdriver. Check that the seat is secure by pulling up and down on the nose and back of the saddle. Then twist laterally. For the handlebars, look straight down on your stem and make sure that it is lined up with your front tire. With the side bolts in your stem loosened, you can gently tap the tire with your foot to line the tire up with your stem. Once they are lined up, tighten the bolts on the side of your stem with your Allen wrench. Straddle your front wheel and try to twist the bars back and forth pretty hard to make sure they don't twist. Then straddle the bike and try to roll the bars back and forward to make sure they don't move. Check the brakes. Make sure that the lever doesn't pull back too far. There should be a gap between the fully compressed brake lever and the grip. Make sure that the brakes are working by rolling back and forth slightly and squeezing the brakes, making sure that they grip. Now let's pump the tires up. You can find the recommended PSI to inflate the tires on the side of the tire. Never go over this recommended pressure because it can damage the tire. Lastly, go around your bike and torque all the bolts to the manufacturer's specification that you'll find in the manual to make sure everything is tightened properly. 
Now it's time to enjoy the bike you just put together yourself.